Happy birthday, Caroline, at Caroline Archer. This is an Instagram collaboration hosted by Tinkerbell 1970s and Osmovara. The theme, running, things you might see on a run. I started off with IMKPLEs, and this is Bitsy, flawless. Just any white cream would work. Um, this had been sitting around, so I thought, well, let me go ahead and use this. Now, my favorite white, of course, is Bases Loaded Lacquer Shutout. But I have all these others that I bought trying to find the perfect white. And every once in a while, you'll see me break one out. Now, this one's been sitting around a while. It's about half empty. And it's on its way to being done. So, I'm going to try to use it up. And, uh, and I do have some backups of this. So, it's a pretty good one. You know, like I said, not my favorite, but it's all right. But I wanted a white base for this manicure. I'm going to top it with INMs out the door. I'm going to get this one to dry down. I've got some gradient work to do. So in my head, I was thinking, okay, things you might see on a run. Well, I don't run, so I wasn't 100% sure what to do. There's my swatch photo of Flawless. I will be using me some liquid latex today, of course, with the gradient. But I thought, well, you could see like a sunset or a sunrise. And I don't know what my gradient really looks like if it's a sunset or sunrise. I guess it depends on what part of the world you're in and, you know, the shades of the sky. But today I'm going to do, you know that um, a little gradient like in to show a sunset or sunrise and then we're gonna you know add some like wilderness to it so I've got my little makeup sponge a little wedge of it and this is look nail polish and it's sky blue and then the purple is lilac and the last one is pink, and it's just called pink. <laughs> so, I do dampen my sponge. A lot of people ask, why do you do that? I believe it makes for a smoother gradient. I also believe that it helps you use less polish. By having it already wet, the polish isn't having to seep down into the sponge to get it dampened or wet or moist. Um... Just my opinion, though. You know, I haven't done any scientific experiments on it. So I'm just dab, dab, dabbing, going back and forth. And I'll get a couple of nails kind of done a little bit. And because uh, this is a layer up process, you're not going to get it all in one, you know, one swoop or one round. Typically, I have seen it done, though. There are some polishes that are so crazy opaque that. They just, you know, don't take nothing to hardly get them to do a gradient. So, we're going to keep on dabbing. I started with my thumb on the first one, so now I'm going to start with that index finger. And then go back over the middle fingernail. And I do try to pay close attention to the sides of these when I'm doing them. Well, while you watch me do this, and you know what I'm doing, I'm just adding more polish and... Sponging on some more gradient. It's going to be a minute. I'm going to do this until I'm happy with how it looks. Um, the look polishes. You used to could find them at Rite Aids. I bought every color they had way, way back in the day online. I did go out and look. I can't find any information on them. Um, it's, I, I, don't, I don't know that they make polishes anymore. I don't know. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I would I would be interested um, just to know what's going on with them. Uh, I loved the square bottles. The polishes were awesome. Good price and all that good stuff back in the day. So, I don't really know. Okay, so back to what we're doing this manicure for. Okay, so Miss Carolyn Archer is cel celebrating her birthday. And that's why we're doing these manicures. She is an avid runner. She runs and runs and runs. Um, I will have links for everybody 
that participated in this on Instagram listed down below, as well as her channel or tag name or whatever you want to call it on Instagram. And I go across the end like that too. Oh, oh, yes, yes. So she's also a, a nail art, nail polish lover. Um, but she does do the running, and if you go check out her Instagram, you'll be able to see pictures of, um, her beautiful nails, um, her cat, and, uh, some of the things she sees on her runs, and her, you know, competing, or, it, no, I don't know that it's competing, but her involved in runs, you know, whether they're fun runs or whatever. I will have a link for her down there. I will also have, hopefully, a hashtag to share with you. I think it's easier to go check out all of the manicures in one place if you have a hashtag. And the participants, all of the participants that are playing with us today and helping Caroline celebrate her birthday. So, that will be there. You see, I'm having to break out my little tweezers here. To get that little piece of latex out of there. I did it without messing stuff up. I almost said something different. Without messing things up. But I am doing some cleanup here. And we're not done yet. Because I still got to add the other stuff. I am going to top this gradient with INMs out the door again. There's a little bit of white sticking out. And that's why I don't like doing the white underneath. But it makes the colors pop. And just like a balloon, I wanted them to pop. So there's the gradient all on their own. I'll be using Christmas from Born Pretty R004 today. I have no idea where this plate came from. And it might be one that my friend sent me. I've got the H. La Corsa Door Scraper and On the Black from Bases Loaded Lacquer. And a Fabier Nail sent to me by my dear sweet Nail Fairy Godmother. <laughs> I am really enjoying the stampers. So there we go. I'm going to just use a couple of different, Im or nah, all different images off of this plate. I just thought that the nature look, you know, with the sunset or sunrise, I'm thinking more sunset. Um, and then, you know, the trees and this one with the little baby deer and, you know, just nature. Nature's good, y'all. I can't wait until it's not too freezing cold so we can actually get out and enjoy it a little bit and see the nature because I do like to sit outside and watch the nature. There's some tree lines with some stars so I guess this is turning in definitely into a night manicure, an evening sunset, an evening sky. <laughs> Make up your mind, Tina. All right, so here we go. We're going to do another one. And this one's got the little baby deer on it. And I just think that is so cute. And I'm trying to decide, what do I want? There's just a lot of cute images on this plate. But I do believe that my friend Miss Becky might have sent me this one too. But I can't be sure. My, my, my collection is so massive that... And so many people have sent me things over the years that I just don't know. I don't know. So I do clean my plates off with pure acetone and I always clean my stampers off on a lint roller or a piece of masking tape. You could use scotch tape, painter's tape. It all works. And I really liked this image here with the like tree branch and then there's a single bird. Hopefully I don't pull it up. Flying. I thought that was really cute. I don't know that the bird's going to make it. We'll see. You know, my nails, my pinky nail especially is not very big. We're going to try to get it on here though. Yay, the bird made it. I'm going to hop in with a piece of masking tape and get up some of this excess polish off of my skin. Now, like I said, you could use scotch tape, masking tape, painter's tape, uh, any of it. It all works. And then I'm going to hop in with my cleanup brush and just do a tiny bit of fine tuning my cleanup. Once that's done, I'll be using the smudge free top coat for maniology 
to go over all these stamped images so that they, they don't get smeared. And then once that's done, I'll be using Posh Top Coat to finish off my manicure. It's a quick grind top coat that's real glossy. I don't have very much trouble out of it. It's a very good top coat. There we go. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out the other manis. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.